a very good day to all our all the viewers of indiantelevision.com my name is anil vanwari i'm the founder ceo and editor in chief of the indiantelevision.com group it's my pleasure to have a fantastic professional in front of me vishal chinchankar from madison uh, vishal why don't you talk a bit about yourself before we get on to the topic at hand which is connected tvs and their power in this modern day and age yeah thanks anil thanks for getting me on your show uh, just a brief, brief background of uh, Vishal Chinchankar. I'm the CEO for Madison Digital right now, been here for uh, almost about six years prior to that, various different companies, Reliance, Group M and all, uh, with almost about more than 25 years of experience and uh, started my digital journey way back in 2000 during the dot-com boom. While I swaded through my troubled waters, but still surviving and thriving. So great, let's get on. Thanks for the, thanks for talking about yourself. Now, you know, Connected TVs, they're the latest buzzword. Why? What's so exciting about connected TVs? So look, I think uh, the whole ecosystem's changing with the invent of now these smart TVs coming in uh, and the broadband connection is more and faster. The hardware itself is a great piece of asset where you uh, really get some 4K Conway content or, you know, HD kind of content by itself. And the beauty is that, uh, you know, it's it's all live through broadband. So you can watch any and every content over there, whether it's your Netflix or your Amazon in the world gardens compared to a YouTube or any of the other apps, right? In my sense, I think this is this is the the new kid on the block. I wouldn't call it a kid anymore because it's a, it's a growing kid. It's a compliant boy and it's growing at a much, much faster rate. And the adoption of this is, is getting very, very high. To put certain things in perspective, smart TVs, quarter and quarter is showing 11% import growth. Uh, that's the kind of uh, you know, consumption that's happening. And, uh, and and end of the day, you're talking about a targeting consumer or, or a consumer who's buying it. Is the one who can afford a smart TV. You can afford some great content, which is subscribed content. And a uh, great high uh, broadband uh, uh, high broadband connection, right? So net net, uh, there is a significantly large size of an audience which is A plus plus I would call it, uh, which is available handy for brands. How large do you think is how deep is the reach and how far is it? Look, there are various uh, numbers floating in the market. Someone uh, claiming a ten million to twenty two million, and YouTube talking about some forty five fifty million, right? But uh, just to give you proper uh, you know perspective I, to the the best of my knowledge and my sense is that it is roughly around 22 million households right and if i go by the versions of bark uh, with the with a multiplier of a 3.2 or a 3.6 you're talking about a significant large size of a household penetration right now a comparable may not be a linear tv but a comparable maybe an uh, uh, maybe an hd right now which which claims to be at about 45 odd million. Uh, but that's stagnated and this is growing. In no time, you'll probably see maybe a connected TV crossing over the HD numbers or, or even outgrowing those numbers and getting coming out shining out much faster. Yeah, but then you also have uh, TVs with connected devices apart from, uh, you know, for the, the latest generation ready to Wi-Fi ready uh, TV sets. So yeah. if you include those numbers, is would you call it, would you uh, put the number at 45 million or excluding those, uh, you know, with connected devices with, you know, either Android, uh, hybrid Android boxes with, uh, or, or, or with, you know, the, uh, with the, with the, with the sticks, et cetera, et cetera. Looks, I think uh, they're close to about uh, uh, 10 million sticks in the market. Right, but and of course there are there is no uh, body which sort of audits these numbers, but uh, that's some sort of a uh, estimation, a market estimation. But the usage of stick is just about ten percent. That's uh, snack in, snack out kind of a usage of these sticks. But again, that number is not uh, stagnating; it's still growing, right? So I think the combination of these two things is is really uh, you know helping this particular. Uh, mediums connected tv as a medium to really becoming faster uh, let me give you a little bit of a perspective and i'll i'll you know put connected tv i mean uh last year on the pitch madison i i presented stuff on connected tv saying why connected tv is going to be bigger and i just gave one data point which is last year's whole addicts 
of whatever 75,000, 80,000 crores was equal to the amount of monies invested on connected TV only in US, right? So that's how connected TV is huge in US. And, and, and there's no reason why India will move in that direction. We're not too far away from how uh, US trends move and trend. There's also the hotspotting which happens. Absolutely. Using, using uh, mobile phones where they connect their TV sets. So that's right. another one which, which works that's well cast. also. That's a casting, right? Exactly, yeah. yeah. And, and that's, that's picking up in a big way. And then don't be surprised, yesterday when I was uh, out to this uh, for this Geo thing, Geo's launching those cables where you can cast the mobile onto your TV, whether it's a smart TV or whether it's even the old boxes with this red, blue and red, white and yellow three pins. Even for that, they're coming out with certain cables. So I think that's all helping this whole ecosystem to really move faster. Great. Uh, you said, but right now it's still, uh, you know, it's still on the uh, uh, early adopters. It's amongst the early adopter, ha adopters. Has right. it penetrated down the uh, strata, down the uh, NCCS strata, or is it still, uh, uh, you know, at the, at the top top end? My sense is uh, when we, we do, we've done a lot of campaigns on connected TV, and we do get a lot of inventory coming out of the tier two as well. Uh, so it's not purely a metrocentric kind of phenomena right now, but it is moving into these tier two markets. A little too far away to get into the tier three, tier four kind of areas, but uh, at the pace that it's going, clearly I believe that uh, in no time it should really even get there, either with the help of the sticks or either with the help of new uh, TVs, which are affordable, that are affordable prices moving. Coming back again to another thing, uh, another point that I want to make is that uh, with the uh, with with you know you seem excited about it. So have you been recommending uh, connected TVs to your brands? You said you did a few campaigns. Any standouts? And have you been recommending recommending more and more for brands? And are more brands adopting uh, uh, the medium of connected TVs? And for what? They are because I think uh, the beauty about this uh, medium is that it sort of addresses the top of the funnel, uh, you know, the top of the pyramid, the AA, as I said earlier, as I defined earlier, and uh, certain niche brands where you really want to just address uh, or reach out to those audiences, it's a perfect match. Uh, we've done a lot of campaigns. I personally, if you ask me, I think we've seen great performance uh, in terms of obviously uh, hard measures like uh, the VTRs or the soft measures, the mind measures, whether pre and post brand lift studies that we've done on that particular piece of campaign. And it shows a significant growth. So I think uh, I'm pretty bullish about connected TV as a, as a platform. Getting the bang for the buck. Connected TVs, again, the awareness amongst brand marketers is limited. So is it tough to convince uh, your, 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 your sellout? I mean, in the sense, you sold out your, 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 your sold to connected TVs in a way. I can, I can see that. Yes. So but what about brand managers? Are they also towing the line or are they still going the linear way? Uh, linear, uh, you know, one-sided uh, flow of the broadcast signal? So look, I think connected TV is, uh, I don't think as, as of today, uh, it's neither TV, but it's largely tilting towards the side of digital, right? It's still more digital sort of an inventory right now because it's it's all bought through all my consoles and that wherever there are digital apps. So it's it's maybe tilted more towards digital, not really uh, getting tilted towards a linear TV. I don't think it's the right comparison to compare connected TV with linear TV right now because connected TV is too small and uh, linear TV still is a reach builder right now. Uh, even if you had to compare, I probably would do it with HDTV rather than just the SD or the linear mass based TV. Are brand managers, are the marketers uh, really aware of it? In some cases, we have to educate them and get them to this level of what the numbers look like, uh, even when it comes to an RNF for that particular piece of an audience. Uh, but more or less, I think uh, uh, today's day and age, most of the matured advertisers are quite aware and they've started building up their brands on that. Of course, it's a long way, but but uh, you know, sort of a pilot and then a pivot uh, approach always works for most of the brand managers and they've been trying it, I would say. Great, uh, you know, let's look at this year, the IPL, big spends by the, on the media rights, 
Yeah. Uh, how do you see the IPL on connected TVs and on digital? Look, it's it's uh, it's going to be a nice, a fun to watch this IPL because obviously uh, both the publisher, the broadcasters are going to be very very aggressive. One who's broadcasting, one who's streaming, they're going to be very aggressive, and both have their own merits, both have their own advantages. But I'll I'll cut to just talk about a little bit of a digital stuff. Earlier, and if I had to do a comparison, earlier, Hotstar was had just probably about 50 or 60 million paid subscribers. And then there were five minute, uh, you know, snack in, snack out kind of consumers coming in, right? This year, it's free, 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 right? To all the consumers, whether you're on Airtel, whether you're on Waterfall. So that's a big added advantage, a big plus plus for Viacom as a, as a, as a broadcaster. Uh, having said that, uh, it's, it's all about, you know, building in a lot of reach and efficiency for most of the brands. Whoever is able to build that uh, in those respective markets. Of course, Wycom comes in with less wastage because there's an accuracy of targeting that they bring into the table, which obviously is not possible on television. Certain categories, there may be spill, but certain categories spill works. I mean, it's an arguable sort of a conversation, but still here, I would say that there is no spill. So you are really reaching out to the right audience that you want to target. That's point number two. Point number three, uh, I would say, uh, look, I think the way it's been getting marketed uh, with those tables, with the, the language commentary coming in, whether it's Bhojpuri or Punjabi or Marathi, whatever, that's an added advantage. But obviously it's going to uh, really attract a lot of audiences. Uh, the best part is they're going to, you know, have their shows in some hundred cities, some colleges, some certain societies. So I think there's a lot of promotion and a surround effect that's uh, going around it to make it much larger. I'm just talking about digital as a IPL as a property. And cut to, if I had to give you a sense on connected TV, uh, I look at it this way. See, as per the TRAI, they're close to about 26.8 million broadband uh, subscribers in the country who are using broadband. My sense is uh, not everybody will have a smart TV or something, but uh, any guest, even if I had to put a sort of a guesstimate, it's roughly about 22 to 25 million because GeoFiber itself is about seven and a half, eight odd million. I don't know if the number would have gone up. Airtel is also very aggressive at the same time. The packages, what they're coming out is, is very lucrative for a consumer uh, compared to even a cable. Because if I add up all my, uh, as a consumer, if I add up all my costs of cable plus Disney plus this plus that and all, it becomes pretty obnoxious. From that point stand, there is a shift happening. Uh, both the telcos, I mean, not just both, every telco is getting very aggressive in that space. And as I said, uh, connected TV, because um, look, I mean, um, I'm an HNI and I'd love to watch my cricket when I'm at home on my connected TV. When I'm on travel, I want to watch it on my uh, mobile or something. So I think there are a lot of merits that, uh, you know, uh, IPL digital is probably going to add this year. I think we live in a, uh, in this uh, nature of advertisers. There are, a couple of ad there are advertisers who believe in reach and frequency. So they build a brand on the back of, you know, reach at one plus, reach at one plus kind of thing. And then high impact properties. And then there are other advertisers who build on in high impact properties, yeah. as you rightly said. But there are lots of brands which have been built purely on the back of cricket and who swear by cricket. Undoubtedly, cricket gives an unparalleled reach and IPL definitely much more, right? Uh, with these two publishers coming in, there's going to be a huge spread of distribution. We don't know if uh, Star wants to add it in the FTA. We don't know how, as of now, and, and how and, and how Ycom is going to really promote it very, very extensively. It's only going to you know, bring in more and more and more viewership and distribution. Uh, I don't think there's going to be a compromise on reach. I don't think there's going to be a compromise on uh, impact. Uh, the question is, who gets better efficiencies? And that's the game that all brand managers are going to look at. Okay. And in terms of the interactivity that connected TVs offer, are you looking at uh, exploiting that? And, you know, connected TVs, mobile, uh, digital viewing, are you going to take advantage of that in terms of is Geo offering you attractive uh, solutions for that? 
I don't think the interactivity on connected TV right now, apart from the fact that you get to see from a different lens or whatever, uh, but the more interactivity or engagement is largely going to be on the mobile, which hopefully most of the brands would look at. Okay, great. Any other salient features you want to talk about as far as connected TVs and uh, the IPL this year is concerned? You know, just a few last sound bites if you'd like to give them. Look, I think uh, the good part is uh, competition is always healthier and everyone is going to work harder to make sure that they attract a lot more dollar. And uh, it's only good for most of the advertisers. It's only good for most of the consumers because the interest levels on the games are going to go up. Uh, it, it's going to be a good wait and watch. Uh, but to the best of my knowledge, I would love to call it that it's, this is value for money. Cricket is always value for money. Great. Thank you very much for your time. Lovely talking with you. Wish we could talk longer, but we're running short. And uh, it's been a pleasure chatting with you this today. Thanks a million. Thank